Hey friends, welcome! Before you enjoy this video, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel so you'll know when we upload new videos. Thank you! 5 Things You Don't Realize You Are Doing Because of Your High Functioning Anxiety Many people have a specific image or idea of what it means to have anxiety. For example, you might envision that a person who has anxiety is housebound, cannot work, or struggles to maintain relationships of any kind. High functioning anxiety, we'll refer to it as HFA, is not a diagnosis as it's not an anxiety disorder recognized by the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders DSM-5, which provides diagnostic criteria for mental disorders. Basically, HFA is a catch-all term that refers to people who live with anxiety but identify as functioning reasonably well. Generally, a person with HFA may appear put together and well accomplished on the outside, yet experience worry, stress, or have obsessive thoughts on the inside. A person with high functioning anxiety is fully functional and usually successful, says Sasha Hamdani, MD, a psychiatrist at the Psychiatry Associates of Kansas City, Kansas. They'll perform well at their job, handle all of their finances, balance their home life, maintain relationships, but they're still struggling with anxious feelings and thoughts. It is a constant battle. Imagine living that way every day. If you have HFA, you appear to be successful together and calm, the typical A personality who excels at work and life. However, the way you feel inside may be very different, which is an inner turmoil of anxiety and internal struggle that you are constantly dealing with. So the real question, do you really have high functioning anxiety? What does it look like? Here are five things you don't realize you are doing because of your high functioning anxiety. One, you're nice and easy to be around, but you people please too much. You want everybody to like you and you want to be a pleasant person to be around. So you go out of your way to please everyone. Two, you worry too much about trivial things that other people probably don't even notice. You may go home and worry about what he said or how she responded or what they thought about you after everything was done and over. 3. You're consumed by every mistake you made by beating yourself up over it. You think all the time about what you said in your conversation or that email you sent and how you should have worded it differently. You just worry about it and you're too harsh on yourself. 4. You know you're capable but you don't fully believe in yourself. Self-doubt and stress and worry overcloud your mind and judgment and you just don't believe in yourself. 5. In every situation, the worst scenario is your biggest thought. When your anxiety takes over, you always go towards the extreme end. You think of the worst case scenario and think all the wrong things that can happen. The bottom line, friends, is that high functioning anxiety can be a double-edged sword. It can be very much a life of denial as well. You might even convince yourself that there's nothing wrong. You're just a workaholic, a germaphobe, a list maker, etc. In order to reduce your HFA though, hold on to your positive traits through the habits that you've developed and try to let go of the tension and internal struggle your anxiety causes. Not only does success not need to be the result of struggle, but opening yourself up to your true feelings and sharing them with others can make your experience of life and the world around you more authentic. Friends, let us know your thoughts and comments. We'd love to hear from you.